Hello friends and uh, welcome back to Parshati's Palmaji. And uh, today's topic is uh, six minute walk test. Uh, one of the most uh, important uh, cost effective uh, test which most of the uh, chest physicians and general physicians uh, generally do and many chest, uh, chest physiotherapists do it. So what is a six minute walk test? Uh, we will study the first regarding the definition. What are the indications? What are the contraindications? And how do we do it? Okay, and how exactly is it uh, helpful? Okay, first uh, coming to the definition. Uh, the word, the six minute walk test has a definition. It is the distance covered by a person in a six minutes. Okay, the total distance that a person can cover in a six minutes and on a flat and hard surface. Okay, it is very important the the surface on which the person is made to walk should be hard and it should be flat it should not be it should not be angulated it should be flat and hard so this is a definition okay the person a distance a person covers in a, during 6 minutes on a flat hard surface is the definition so what are the indications uh, it becomes very important to study the regarding the indications so it mainly helps in comparison comparison between the pre treatment and the post treatment okay it mainly helps regarding two systems that is lung and the heart respiratory and the cardiovascular system so pre treatment and post treatment so what is the benefit that a patient has received by the therapy that is that you can come to know the first is first major is to, uh, for lung transplantation patients okay before doing lung transplant we check PFT, we check DLCO, we check for uh, a six minute walk test and then post treatment you again check it okay so what is the improvement in the uh, total predicted distance that the patient can walk that we see and it is also important in low back tummy patients in uh, COPD patients uh, before the patients come to chest, uh, chest physicians uh, uh, and once they come we check for six minute walk test and after the therapy Again, we go for six minute walk test at a regular interval to see so what is the increase in the predicted distance. Okay, interstitial lung diseases, heart failure patients, pulmonary hypertension, important uh, indication, cystic fibrosis, peripheral vascular disease, and one more important thing is it is a very good predictor of mortality and morbidity. How does it uh, predict? Suppose the six minute walk test of the patient is improving with every session. That means that the mortality and morbidity is lower, but if it is decreasing during every session, it means that the mortality and morbidity chances are very high. So it's a very simple cost effective test to compare that pre-treatment and post-treatment uh, uh, improvement. Uh, six minute walk test was also used uh, during COVID times. Here the patient uh, suspect, uh, COVID positive patients were made to walk for six minutes at least twice a day and see for falling saturation okay that was during uh, uh, covid and that we had used this six minute walk test okay then what are the contraindications so these are indications what are the contraindications contraindications are recent myocardial infarction or unstable angina recent means how recent within last one month okay and then arrhythmias then uncontrolled blood pressure okay these are the major three contraindications recent mi or unstable angina within one month, arrhythmias and uncontrolled blood pressure. These are the three major contraindications. Okay, indications, contraindications. So now coming to next, how do we exactly do it? Okay, uh, we need a flat and a hard surface. We usually keep a cone, two cones, at a distance of thirty meters. Okay, you can see there is a distance of thirty meters. We have kept a two cones. And the distance between the two cones will be 30 meters. Okay, and we, we mark it on a flat hard ground and we uh, start beginning. We start from uh, suppose this is cone A and this is cone B. Okay, so before beginning, what are the things that we routinely check? The first and major important thing is vitals heart rate, blood pressure, saturation. These are three major important vital things that we check. And one more important thing that we check is Bogue scale of dyspnea okay b o r g scale bog scale of dyspnea so this is a pre uh, pre uh, test uh, scale of dyspnea okay 
okay what i'll check we check for vitals we check for bore scale of dyspnea and the patient should be adequately rest rest rested before uh, starting the test okay at least for 10 minutes you should uh, sit on a comfort sit comfortably on a chair and then check his vitals and then we begin the test okay uh, you should avoid uh, smoking and uh, caffeine and all those other materials before the test at least two hours before the test and then we begin the test so we ask the person to uh, move, uh, to take, uh, take a lapse so like if he has to move from cone A to cone B and again he has to come back to cone A and he has to uh, keep keep moving so with every one lap A to B and back to A it will be 60 meters okay so one lap will be 60 meters so the person has to walk like this for 6 minutes total distance of 6 minutes so a uh, person will be sitting who will record the total number of laps covered and once after 6 minutes the patient is made to sit on a chair and again we check for vitals post test vitals and then we again uh, check for bore scale of dyspnea so what is the pre-test and what is the po post-test bore scale of dyspnea okay sometimes uh, the person may not be able to walk for whole of the 6 minutes so if the patient feels too breathless or feels too tired or he has giddiness, headache or he has palpitations we stop the test and we check for the total distance covered so okay so we uh, how do we check it we check it with the lap twice and if a person stops in between we mark a uh, chalk there and then again we check it for the total distance covered so this is how we do 6 minute walk test okay pre-test evaluation start the test a to cone a cone b and again cone back to cone a number of laps you have to measure and then post test vitals and both scale of dyspnea and total distance covered so, so what is the predicted distance for each patient okay a very complicated formula for uh, what is the predicted distance uh, we use is 218 plus 5.14 into height of the patient minus 5.32 uh, into the age minus 1.8 into the weight plus 5.31 into sex uh, 1 is for male and 0 is for female okay Six one is for male, zero is for female. So instead of using this complicated formula, what generally many people do is normally uh, a normal six uh, six minute walk test is four hundred to seven hundred meters. Okay, this is what we normally take. Uh, how do we see? Uh, how do you say that whether there is an improvement in the six minute walk test with every session of the therapy? Is if we see if we see any improvement of more than or equal to 70 meters with every 6 minute walk test uh, session we say that the therapy is working okay this is how we uh, calculate the predicted distance and what is the normal distance sometimes we may, uh, if the person is too breathless we make him to walk 3 minute walk test sometimes they, uh, that is a uh, like uh, all this were developed during the covid like a uh, patient who can't walk for 6 minutes we ask them to walk for 3 minutes and we check for the foreign saturation and uh, if the patient is feeling breathless and then we initiate on the further therapy okay this is all about uh, 6 minute walk test okay definition indications contraindication how do we exactly do it and what is the predicted distance okay a very simple test uh, mainly help in two mainly two systems that is a respiratory system and cardiovascular system uh, thank you all for your patience listening. If you have any comment, please leave it in the comment box. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. We'll be back with uh, another clinical pharmacology topic very soon. Thank you all.